over. It's cold. So you don't like that? No? What, what do you like about October? Halloween. All right. Is that an easy question? Yeah. Okay, I thought I'd start this morning with an easy question. Because sometimes questions are easy and sometimes they're hard. Have you ever asked a question, like to your parents, that um, they didn't know the answer to? Yeah? Does that happen a lot? No? Okay. What happens if they don't know the answer to a question? They Google it. All right. Yeah. You know what? That's kind of the thing now, right? If you, if you don't know the answer to a tough question, you can just Google it, right? So last night, Nathan was trying to tell me about the, um, the Iowa being ranked 26, and they missed it by three votes, he said. I said, actually, it was 27. He said, how do you know that? Why would you just know that? And why would I just know that? Well, because I looked it up for the opening this morning, right? I looked it up, I Googled it, because I didn't know, right? Um, but that's what we do now. If we don't know the answer to a question, we just Google it. But don't suppose that there are questions that uh, Google wouldn't really help us with. Yeah? Can you think of one? Okay, what is that? Oh, sometimes you were playing games and you need to know like a rule or how to get through something and Google doesn't always know? Okay. Any others? <coughs> what are we doing today? Yeah, Google wouldn't know what you're doing today, would they? Actually, sometimes they do and it's really creepy. Because <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get an email that says, you know, uh, we're planning to meet on, on Monday at 7.30 and all of a sudden my calendar, that pops up in there. Monday at 7.30, I have a meeting. Yeah. So sometimes Google even knows that. It's pretty crazy. But I think one of the things that Google would have a hard time telling us is if we are going to go to heaven. If you would ask Google that, I haven't tried this. Maybe you'd want to try this later. We, am I going to heaven? That would be a pretty hard one for Google to answer, right? Because they don't really know you or... or uh, the things that you do, or whether you believe in God, right? And so sometimes those can be uh, difficult questions. Questions about God or about your faith can be hard to answer. And sometimes we can get answers pretty quickly, like you can come and ask me, and I can help you uh, with the answer. And But sometimes it's really tough. I mean, some questions <coughs> take an entire lifetime to try to figure out. Like if I ask the question, how big is God? That's like an impossible question to answer. How big is God? We might be able to come close, but I don't think we can. It's just tough. So it's, it, it takes a long time and a lot of time to figure these out. And I would tell you that it's best, if you don't know the answer to a question, that you don't just wonder about it, but that you maybe do some thinking, but also that you talk to other people. It's good to be around other people that may, might wonder the same thing, so that you can hear from them um, what they think about that question answer. And then you can decide for yourself if it answers the question for you. Right? Right. So maybe um, you know, sometime today you can Google something like, how big is God? And we'll see, see what Google says. Right? Because it's the smartest thing in the world. Right? Right. Um, so you, you know, maybe try that a, a later. And then you come back and tell me what it says. Right? Um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, let's pray before you go. God, we um, are thankful for things like Google that, that help us to know the answers to questions that, that we might ask, but um, we also are thankful for the people that are around us at church um, and our friends and our family who can help us to work through some questions that we don't have the answers to yet. Um, Lord, keep uh, helping us to uh, love each other, to love you, and to, to find those answers together. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, thank you for today. See you next time.